Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by the channel. Another Screwy Tuesday, and as you know, I'm Chuck. And uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, Monarch lathe and the uh, ELSR. ELSR, the Electric Lead Screw Reversing. Um, I think you'll find it very interesting. It's one of the uh, nice options that come on the Monarch lathe. And uh, we'll get into that. And I'll also show you how I did some things uh, comparatively on my closing uh, prior. Um, with that, we're also going to have a short little, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a short little clip. Uh, a couple of Allure's tool holders that I have that are brand new, and they are Allure's, so they're not Chinese. Uh, they're too tight on the tool post. And so uh, I had to uh, go ahead and open up the dovetails in there, and I used uh, Randy Richards' uh, dovetail cutter that uh, I got from him. I think you'll enjoy seeing that also. And then, of course, we got a little Howie time. So uh, thanks again for stopping by. Thanks for all the subscribers. The channel seems to be growing, and uh, I'm just loving the Monarch. As you uh, can see behind me, uh, the Monarch's covered up. And I uh, had a little fun on Facebook saying that I walked by the closing and the closing told me to F you, gave me the, uh, the hand over the eye and uh, said, geez, you used to cover me up and now the new girl gets covered and I don't get covered. Well, the closing will start getting covered now. Uh, actually, it needs some maintenance and uh, cleaning, so that's coming up. Okay, guys, uh, enjoy it and uh, like always, we'll see you next Screwy Tuesday. Thank you. Uh, tonight, though, I'm going to show you um, my new lathe, the uh, Monarch uh, 10EE, and we're going to, it's, it's right down here, and we're going to discuss uh, using the electronic lead screw reverse uh, and other features that the lathe is designed in for threading. So uh, we'll move over there and uh, we'll uh, do a little video on that. Uh, it was all new to me, and I think uh, you guys will enjoy it also. We're going to talk about the ELSR, Electronic Lead Screw Reverse. That's this unit over here. And we'll get to that in a minute. And apologize for the camera jerking. The, um, what I wanted to show you here was one thing that the Monarch has is there's a knob here on the side of the crossfeed dial and you can engage that dial and it puts a stop in place so it comes back basically the, uh, three and a half cranks four cranks and then it goes back to the same spot it stops the same spot so just to uh, go up and look at the the dro backing it off coming back in and it's within, uh, what, four tenths there. Back in again, three tenths. So you're always going to come back to zero, basically, which is really, really, really nice. Um, I'm going to show you in this video um, what I was doing on my clausing. Uh, for myself, it was always confusing to me to, to which zero I was on. Uh, this solves it. Um, I'm really uh, happy about that. Well, we're over at my uh, closing lathe and a little discussion about threading. Of course, you know, your compound is set at 29 and a half degrees and you, uh, you feed in with your compound and as you finish a thread, you always back out and then you come back to your zero. And for myself personally, it was in, when I started cutting threads and I haven't cut a lot of threads in my day believe me I'm no expert at this but I got to tell you it was always confusing uh, how many spins did I go back what did I do um, so one of the things that I that did that I did to help me is I did put a travel dial on the back side here so it, it was always a safety check for me did I get to zero um, one of the one of the other things that I was doing prior to the travel dial, um, let me uh, stop the camera and I'll set it up real quick. So 
one of my ways uh, to resolve, uh, did I go back to zero, was I added a stop. And I'd seen this in uh, various old textbooks. And so I built this. Uh, I was fortunate that uh, my uh, cross slide here had some uh, holes already in it. I made this piece that basically bolts to the back of the cross slide. And then I made a dovetail piece to go onto here. And then I could tighten the nut down. And then as it came back, right, it comes through, comes through, and then I go back and the nut hits. And that solved my problem with uh, making sure I always return back to zero. Uh, took that stress out of threading for me. Um, another thing that I learned um, was watching our good friend and another mentor was uh, Keith Fenner. And let me get that set up for a second. Okay, this is uh, a quick copy of the Keith Fenner dashboard is what he called it. And setting up a dial indicator against the uh, tool post as you fed in and came back out, you had a zero to come to. So it was a great way to, to also double check myself that I was at the same zero each time. And that worked really well. Um, and I would still employ one or two of these or any of these three if I was uh, threading here the, on the closet. The next thing is um, we're going to thread here using the ELSR. So with the ELSR, um, I engage the spindle uh, with this lever right here. I don't know why my camera's sticking so tight here. On the, what's going on? Uh, anyway, sorry about that. So this lever engages the uh, threading. This is the half nut lever here. This engages a spindle. Now this lathe has two controls. It has this one up here on the headstock for the spindle, and it has the one down here on the uh, cross slide. Now um, there's an electronic switch that you must uh, flip over to control this unit here. And we'll, I'll show you this in operation. And what it, it, what it has is below, the, below here are adjustable stops. And myself playing with it and learning how to use it, the adjustable stop uh, as, it, as it's feeding towards the headstock or away from the headstock uh, is really, really precise once you set the speed. Uh, if you set the stops and increase the speed, of course the spindle rotation as the uh, stops takes it past the uh, same point. If you keep the speed from where you originally set it up, it hits zero every time. So um, let's, uh, let me see if I can uh, do this. The problem is my, me standing here with the camera doesn't give us a lot of, a lot of space. So we'll uh, start over here. So let me fire it up and the lathe, this is a motor generator lathe and it is uh, relatively loud. So uh, let me get it going. Now using the ELSR, you leave the half nut engaged. So the half nut stays engaged and you don't have to uh, retract it at all. So I'm going to feed in uh, Basically, it's all set up. I'm going to feed in five thousandths on the uh, compound there, and we'll engage the uh, engage the feet, and it's shut off. I didn't touch it at all. Now, and then I I come over here, I back it out, shuts it back off again. Take this guy back in, go in another five thou, cut a thread, back it out, what's interesting is you can't goof up which way to go on this handle, once it's threaded one way, that's it, you're in, and, and vice versa, so I go back in, Let's go another five thou. 
cutting a thread. Pull it out. Doesn't get much nicer than that, I tell you. Come up here and look at the, uh, the tool. So we're back, back in. Go another five. Whoop! Hit the camera stand. Got it in there too close. I'm backing it out. So I'm going, whoop, going back in. Get a little more in the compound. Back it out. Back in. Do a little more for the five. Back it out. Back in. Get a little juice. And it's stopping basically at the same spot every time. And again, so I think you guys understand it. It's uh, pretty sweet. I'm really enjoying it, and I'll uh, I'll drop the uh, camera down lower, and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, the setup of how it works down below. So I think you can see the uh, two stops. Here's a stop here, and here's a stop here. They're both adjustable in each direction. And you can see the uh, finger here, and there's one down here that hit the stops. And uh, we'll do a little threading, you can just watch it from down here. Probably nothing super exciting to look at, but uh, you get the idea of how it works there. This is the uh, unit in the back, the LSR. And then on the uh, back of the electrical panel, uh, down there where the red light is, is the switch that you uh, throw electronically to engage this lever as your control. Really nice though, you leave the uh, half nut engaged so you don't, have to, uh, you don't have to continue to look to pick up a number, it stays engaged and uh, <clears throat> really enjoying uh, cutting threads with it, very very simple. Okay, half inch 13. Cut with no problem, real quick. And uh, based on the charts, I was supposed to be at uh, 99 total cut and uh, about uh, 98 right there. So uh, worked out well. Lots of fun. I've got a couple of Allure's uh, tool blocks, AXA, that are just tight on the tool post. And uh, it's a little video showing you uh, Randy Richards dovetail cutter that he sells. Uh, all I can tell you guys, it's a champ. If you don't get one, you're losing out. Here it goes.
These are stock Alorus units, and for some reason they're just too tight on the tool post. That cutter is just working fantastic. Thank you, Randy. Well, there's my buddy, 8 o'clock on a Friday night. Just laying outside the shop door, waiting for me to finish up so we can go out and check some pea mail in the bushes. Hey, Howie, you ready to go? Howie, Howie, wake up, buddy. You ready to go? You want to go for outside? Want to go check your P-mail? Huh? Yeah? Okay. You want to go? Hello everybody, thanks for uh, stopping by the shop for another Screwy Tuesday. Um, today we're going to uh, do a review on the uh, Monarch uh, ELSR, electronic, I uh, can't remember what it stands for, 